Yeah, I think we should start now. So what are the themes that August Wilson is trying to center around in this play? As I already mentioned to you, African Americans are always concerned with issues about their historical legacy and memory. When the slaves were brought in from Africa to America and when they were not even treated as human beings, what um, um, yesterday also we've seen that the black man thought he was an invisible person. It looks like he doesn't exist. So when you don't exist or when you are considered as a non-existent person or you are non-existent, what about your memory? Is there, what do you have as memories and what do you leave as legacies? So the legacy of Charles and his family is incarnated by the piano. The piano is not an ordinary piano. It becomes an artifact. And it's become, it is a record of the family's history under slavery. And what is, what all is the African-American legacy? Now this is, Another question. I explained to you at length about the plight of African Americans when the families were separated, when children were taken away. See, young children are more quick, more agile compared to older people. So when it comes to working on the cotton plantation farms, they, they preferred young children. So the young children, if they are separated from their parents, so you can imagine how African-Americans went through these feelings of separation the emotional chaos, apart from the physical trauma, the, the physical suffering, and uh, the white men, the owners, would rape the black women and use the children born out of such rape as slaves again. So a black woman was considered as a, a machine producing babies. So she was used as a machine producing, uh, a babies producing machine so that they can have more and more people to work in their farms as slaves. So the legacy of what kind of feelings did these families have? They were feelings of taking revenge. When they were sold in debt and how they wanted to repair the trauma and become better how can they become better when generation after generation, uh, in another play written by an African-American woman, it's, it talks about rape. A rape was also, a rape became an institution. It was like, it was a right for any white man to rape a black woman. 
even if a black man looked at a white woman there would be terrible punishments and yesterday i told you about lynching so when laws were taken into their hands or when laws were so strict when they behave like that when it comes to a white woman a black woman on the other hand would be right royally raped and it was considered as more or less normal so rape became an institution like you know something that's so established and sanctioned by the government i'm not saying it was sanctioned i'm saying that the whites behaved like that with the blacks so the memory of african american the history of african american people in us the legacy of african americans in the us is a legacy is a history is a memory of pain agony torture shame bereavement separation of various kinds okay so this through this play august wilson is trying to tell them boy willie wants to sell the piano in the name of his future a future that would avenge his ancestors and secure his his success okay but bernice wants to keep the heirloom in memory of the blood stains that the blood that uh, went into the wood but unfortunately because she doesn't play the piano she thinks she doesn't want to disturb so each one looks at what is history what is memory there is a difference between the women bernis and the boy the man boy willy however the differences are reconciled when sutter's ghost is exorcised so bernis playing the piano is like bernis serving as a priestess who links the household to its ancestors calling upon them to assist the family in its struggle against the specter of the master against the ghost of sutter thus willy really understands the importance of the piano piano is not just an instrument but it's a legacy which bernis finally realizes that she has to use it so the next theme is leaving a mark we all want to leave a mark of ourselves i'm sure you can recollect those scenes when you go to some places you'll find people carve their names on the trees or they put their you know names on the walls they carve it so carving the picture of the mother and uh, child and also the fathers and the generations on the piano okay he is leaving a mark ironically now boy willie wants to sell one mark to make another mark because the piano marked the legacy the family but sutter as he possessed as he sold them off and 
Sutter thinks that, uh, so uh, why will he thinks that buying the property of Sutter would, is his way of taking vengeance and getting uh, a scoring, making a score over how they, their family was treated. The theme of femininity is also a disputed ground, no doubt, but also important. So is she still a woman if she doesn't have a man? When Avery Brown goes on pestering Bernice to marry him, Bernice refusal to marry and Bernice refusal to pay the piano. Critics wonder if both are on the same level. See, language is something society is dictated by the patriarchal powers and language is um, no doubt arbitrary, but language is also conditioned and created and produced by the society which is patriarchal. So language and a society have some gender codes. So Bernice, when she decides to say, stay single, it comes forth as a very silly, funny thing. The fact that Bernice is the only woman lady in the family, and she's the one right now in possession of the um, piano. Puts her in, puts her in a very strong position. Next is the theme of music. It's a very vibrant presence in the play, right from the title, Piano Lesson. So I'll not spend much time on, property is an important theme. What is property? Can it be owned? Charles family was once considered as property and therefore Sutter Charles was able to sell off one elderly person and one child in order to buy another property. So people were considered as property. Slaves were considered as property. Yes, the more number of slaves you had, the owner and his uh, and his uh, you know, level uh, position in the society would increase. It was parallel to the amount of slaves you had. So Charles family was once property. Now Bioy Williams wants to buy the land of Charles Sutter, thinking that property is a key to success. The piano, which is actually a property. Big, uh, it's a question now because piano is a more than property. It seems to have a life of its own. So who can own what? What is property? These are all very uh, seminal questions that August Wilson is trying to raise through her, through his um, question, through this play. So who owns who and what can be owned? Ownership is linked with property. Ownership 
of non material things what do you own you sometimes we not only own things but we own people we own history we own emotions like sorrow so bernice thinks that she has inherited she has the right to inherit the piano because she has inherited her mother's piano but her brother claims that maybe our father would have approved the plan to sell the piano for a plot of land then question of piano as a as so many ghosts the ghost of the yellow dog the sutter spirit, spirit haunting the piano yes so how do we overcome death why will he claim that he has overcome death by transcending the fear of dying he says he achieved this by killing a cat and discovering that he like the white man could hold could wield death as a weapon see whatever you fear one time the more you go on doing it you become immune you become bold and you come out of it once you do that your initial fear will be lessened and you can overcome that so they are trying to overcome this fear of death another theme is what is an object and what becomes an artifact the piano as an object is no longer an object instead it becomes an artifact because it has it is like a family heirloom okay there are certain things that you can't put any monetary value or any amount of monetary value you put on it will be very less so the symbolic meaning of certain things is separate from its practical or monetary value so the piano's meaning and worth is above what the piano would get if it is sold okay what are some of the motifs that are frequently coming through the play motif of ghosts so the play is concerned with trans generational memory and how do these trans generational or you know people across the generations how are they appearing in the form of ghosts ghosts are believed both in the african american and in the christian world african mystical tradition as well as in the christian so do we have white ghosts and black ghosts and if the ghosts come what are they trying to look for so sutter returns to avenge his murder and reclaim the piano and thus the charles family the ghosts of the yellow dog avenge their own murder by murdering sutter so revenge is something that the ghosts are after then you have the call to the dead a number of characters are you know 
spoken to or prayed to. So people living try to talk and establish connection with people who have already who are already dead. Bern is playing on the piano and asking the spirits to help her at the end is one strong statement. African Americans are known for music, blues, I told you yesterday, so I'm not going to repeat all this. Then the paternal and maternal line. Gender questions. The motive of leaving a mark is very, very strong. Boy Billy wants to leave his mark in the world by buying Sutter's land. So there are frequent references to this mark, left his mark on the piano. The piano itself as a symbol of the sen uh, central symbol is very, very significant. After those figures were engraved, carved on the piano, look, this is the statement that they made. Now she had her piano and her niggers too. She was missing those blacks. So when her husband Sutter asked her, asked Boy Willie to carve the figures. Okay. So those. Piano. Uh, so, Mrs. Sutter is able to have both the piano and the slaves. So, the piano is a gift and the slaves' pictures on the piano are like the accessories. But the piano is bought with the slaves who were sold off as the money as a trade. So there's a complexity involved here. Yeah, just read the last two paragraphs on your own. Okay, so um, I've completed most of the important things. Is there something else that you want me to discuss? You have in your notes, in your materials applied. If you turn to page number three, not nine. You have piano lesson one. Um, quite a few details I'll be right. The train is called as 3.57 yellow dog. And the sutter's men who blocked the railroad and burned alive boy Charles and the four men. Okay, so these five became the ghosts of the yellow dog. So all those who burned Sutter and his goons who set fire to boy Charles' home and who set fire to this train compartment, the carriage. One by one, they all meet a terrible death, a dreadful fate of their own. Some of them fell down their own well, like Sutter. 
So people consider that the ghosts are taking revenge. So the portraits of boy Willie's wife and child, great grandfather I'm talking about. These are generations apart, okay? So wife and child, his mama, his, his mother, his father. There are also some moments, some beautiful scenes like the marriage, the son's birth, some pictures are also engraved, the mother's funeral, and the day his family was taken away. All this was uh, portrayed or engraved on the piano. So not just people, but also memories are etched on the piano. Um, he spent uh, roughly um, around three years of extensive work. No, I'm sorry. The playwright, August Wilson, spent three years on this play. And that's why it became a very, very important thing. Are you all there or are you sleeping? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. There, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. I don't know how you are bearing all these afternoon classes. Is there anything you want me to discuss? We still have a lot of time. But I don't want to pick up a new topic because it might be too much. Excuse me, ma'am. You said yes. that you'll send me the mail, this material. This, I'll, yes. Now, morning, I taught you from the book. Morning, what did I do? Uh, Humboldt's, yeah? Right. Humboldt's gift. Yes, yeah, Humboldt's gift, and this I will send you. I will send you. Yeah, thank you for the mail. Ma'am, yesterday's Invisible Man and those also, ma'am. I sent it to Manasa's mail. No, ma'am, I did not receive it. Uh, let me try and do it now once again. Once I tried, it didn't come. But I sent it again. Okay, ma'am. Check once again, if possible. Yes, ma'am. Checking my sent mail. Manasa. R-O-D-E, Manasa Road is there, right? Manasa dot R-O-D-E, ma'am. Uh, Gmail. At Gmail. I have sent, ma, yesterday, document on Invisible Man. I will send uh, this also okay, once again now. So, uh, so, so, did you get a grip or have an idea on both the Invisible Man and Piano Lesson? Today's topic, any doubts, any clarifications? I'm sorry, I was also feeling very sleepy in the afternoon now. But still, we can have the discussion. Nobody wants to have any talk, anything to be discussed, explained. So when do you think you are likely to have your exams? Okay, I sent it to you, Mansa. Notes on Humboldt's gifts, gift and piano lesson. Yesterday's mail is also there. Just check once. 
Yes, ma'am. I checked it now itself, but I'm unable to see there. It's Yahoo Mail. I sent it from Yahoo Mail. Yeah. Because if it doesn't reach you, I will get get it back, right? Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Yes means what? I mean, did you get it? Ma'am, I I haven't received it, ma'am. If I had, I would tell you, ma'am. Uh -huh. Okay. Can someone type some more mail IDs? Let me copy paste. Once again. I hope you are chatting. Sending me. Okay. So Sham Sundar has sent. Akesh also I'm hoping. I'm sending to both Shamsundar and Rakesh. What's from Dr. Melissa? We just check right now because sometimes we forget or get busy with other works. Just check and let me know. Rakesh and Shamsundar. Yes, madam, got in spam. Shamsundar got it, so Rakesh also should have got it. Manasa, you also check why, because it's not in my mailer demon folder either. Okay. Anything to be discussed or shall we stop here? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. It is in spam. Ah, because I'm not in your contacts. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Um, yeah. Is there something to be discussed or would you like to me to close the session here so that you can be refreshed for the 3.30 uh, session? Important questions, they are given all in your modules now. Mostly important questions will be on plot, themes, style, and structure. Okay. For any 
for any paper, any topic. These are important. Only poetry part, you have to be a little careful. They might ask you about imagery and rhyme scheme, but you can't have a one full question on that. Anything else? So would you like to have a break now? Okay. Shall I leave? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, bye. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, ma'am.